As I walk into the kitchen, I take a long, deep breath. <sighs> that, I smell the perfect balance of a cupcake right out of the oven, mixed with eggs, oil, water, and cupcake mix. As I take a bite out of the perfect cupcake with just the right amount of frosting, just the right amount of moisture, and the perfect number of, well, sprinkles, you know what I'd say to that? Yum! Cupcakes! You know, cupcakes were originally baked in teacups. That is, until the multi-cup pan was invented. One cupcake with no frosting averages about 130 calories. Low-fat varieties have come out so that we can enjoy the tasty delight without worrying about our fat intake. Some cupcakes have fruits in them, like banana or blueberry cupcakes. So now that you can picture a cupcake, and you know a little history about a cupcake, I'm now going to teach you how to make a cupcake. First, make sure your blender is not on. You don't want, safety is important. You don't want to be baking one minute and then have no hand the next. Second, make, pour in the baking mix into the blender according to the box. That is because every box is different. They're not all the same. Third, set the temperature on the box according into the, onto the oven. Fourth, pour the cupcake batter into the pan. Fifth, when the oven beeps the first time, put the pan inside the oven. When the oven beeps the second time, take the pan out. Make sure you wear oven mitts, because you don't want to ruin the cupcakes by dropping them and running around screaming, hot, hot! After you take out the cupcake, after you take the cupcakes out of the oven, let them cool down. Once they cool down, you may begin the decorating. And the best part about cupcakes is the decorating. For the holidays, you could do a snowman. Or for Valentine's Day, you could do a little heart design. Or just be creative. Use your imagination. There are also books and websites on decorating. I've always loved cupcakes. For heaven's sakes, I could kiss one right now. I had my very first cupcake when I was about five. I used to lick the frosting off the cupcake and then just throw the rest away. But one time, I was eating the cupcake in front of my Mima Mill, and she saw that I was about to throw the rest out. So she stopped me and said, I'm not going to let you throw out that cupcake until you at least take one single bite. So I did, and it was the best thing I ever tasted. To me, cupcakes are the best thing in the whole wide world. Well, other than oxygen, that is. You should take my Nima Mills advice. You'll fall in love.